you guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be on a DIY wardrobe I took these jeans from a regular old boring pair of blue jeans and made them into these studded out bleach jeans and I'm also thinking about distressing the front of them so you guys let me know how you feel about if I would distress the front of them down in the comments below but to get to this point right here some things that you will need are rubber bands, scissors, studs, bleach, rubber gloves, some type of bin, pot, something you know you can put water and bleach in, and don't forget to bring your creativity. Woo! Get this thing started, baby. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the inside of my jeans because I want the bleach to be on the back of my pants and if you want the bleach and the tie-dye to be on the front then you will roll from the outside of the jeans so now what I'm going to do to make that tie-dye effect is I'm going to roll my jeans twice each time and I'm going to put a rubber band on it and then I'm going to put another rubber band on top of that one and this is going to be called something lock and what I'm going to do is I'm just pretty much I'm going to lock that pattern in right there like that I was a girl scout honey I know what I'm talking about let's do it now I'm gonna fold it up twice again and I'm gonna put another rubber band around it mm. eh, got it it's kind of hard now I'm gonna put another rubber band and I want to do this locking method once again and it is all locked almost almost and we're locked now I'm gonna fix that rolling thing up because it definitely came apart happens all the time when you do jeans now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold that bad boy twice again and we're gonna put the rubber band on there again now as you can see I could only fold my jeans up twice three times but um if you could you could probably do a little bit the folds are a bit smaller and tighter and you could get more folds in there I can only get three in probably could have took out tried again but I didn't so it's cool I'm fine with it all right there you go now what I'm going to do is I don't want any bleach to be on the front part of my jeans so I'm going to gather all of that up and I am going to take a rubber band around it and I'm going to remind myself that this is the part that we do not want to be bleached now my pot of water this is warm water you guys i'm going to make sure i get all of the necessary areas of the pants wet so making sure that i don't get the front wet because the front's not going to be bleached in order for a good bleaching you want to make sure you get the pants wet first now i don't really know how much bleach i use i did eyeball it so eyeball how much bleach you think you need and then you'll be fine so i'm going to let my bleach sit for about 20 30 minutes and hey hey there what is my dog doing <laughs> he know he in trouble he turned around and looked you know he being bad look at him he is drinking the bleach or should i say leaking he is licking the bleach you guys he's like he's alive oh my jesus 20 minutes later this is what your jeans should start to look like as you can see they started to lighten up a little bit and i don't want them to be completely white so I'm going to take them out and rinse them out with warm water, you guys. And I'm going to make sure I rinse them fairly. So as I'm rinsing, 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 rinsing. We're rinsing, going to keep rinsing. Now, finally, scissors. I'm going to take and cut these rubber bands off because I was, and if I got time to be sitting there unraveling them, there are rubber bands, it's fine. I'm going to cut them off. So I'm just going to cut, cut, cut them off and make sure you're not cutting the jeans. Please, Jesus, Lord, help us all. Do not cut your jeans. All right, and now we're going to take my ghetto fabric wash machine. Don't you love it? We're going to turn it on, and I'm going to put it on the delicate cycle. Because just in case I might have overbleached it, it won't rip the jeans in half. And I'm going to put the water on cold to warm water. That is the best thing to watch bleach in. Now, as you can see, I am cutting my pocket off. 
but unfortunately, I'm not perfect. So my first cut wasn't perfect, so I had to go in and cut it up. But that's fine because you want to make sure you're careful in cutting it because you don't want to accidentally cut where the uh, double stitching is and cut a hole in it and then your booty butt butt be all out. And I'm going to have to just be like, booty butt butt all out, booty butt 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 all out. So take your time and cut. And if it's not perfect the first time, don't worry. You can go back in the second time and clean it up because the second time we're tight, you guys. We don't need more than twice. That's all we need. So as you can see, I'm cleaning up my cut, making it as straight and as flawless as possible as I did a hair toss. Like you guys can see me do that Beyonce hair toss. <laughs> I'm weird. Alright, so as you can see, like after I cut a little bit, I like to brush it out of the way. It's just so I won't double cut it, I guess, or won't cut me. I don't know. I did it. You might want to try it. It might help you out. Who knows? Okay, so the studying part, before we get there, was very repetitive, so I decided to leave it out of the video, but if you guys want a detailed video on studying, let me know, okay? So, fun stuff, studs. I got my studs off eBay, and I got about, I don't know how many studs, like a thousand studs for about ten bucks, I guess. I'll let you guys know where I got my studs from down below. But as you can see, on that first pocket, I put five star studs, one in the center, two on the sides, and now I'm showing you guys that I just did in straight lines going all the way around the uh, pocket. I did straightening on the inside of the pocket. I did my studs at a big angle because I don't like when they look all boxy and they're all straight, straight, box, box, box. So I did them at a di diagonal so they'll be really cool. Now it's time to do the pocket. Make sure you pull your pocket up. And when you're studying, you want to make sure you're not studying through your pockets. What you want to do is you want to go through your waist, and you want to make sure you push that pocket upwards, and um, make sure you're not pushing it through the pocket so you don't create a hole in your pocket. And I actually want to show you guys how I stud really quickly right now. I take my tweezers and I fold it, and then I push it inside the stud, so I push it in as far as possible, and then that is how I stud. And this is the finished pocket. Now, you guys, here is the finished look. All right, so like I said, I think I want to distress the front. So let me guys know how you feel about that. Off camera, I took and studded down the bottom of my legs with the stars. And then also, off camera, <laughs> I uh, studded going around the upper stitching of my butt. I thought it was kind of cute, so I did it. So let me guys know how you feel about these jeans and if you think I should just stay at the front. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.